listening to the Confidence Alchemist radio show with your host, the Confidence Alchemist himself, Keith Blakemore Noble. To find out more, visit theconfidencealchemist.com. But not before you've listened to this episode of the Confidence Alchemist radio show. Yeah, hello, welcome back, welcome, welcome to another episode. And let me ask you some questions, let me ask you here. Do you feel as though eh, nothing seems to go right for you? Or, even worse, that you keep getting the things that you don't want? Eh? You ever feel that? Do you find yourself focusing on negative thoughts? I mean, is your glass always half empty instead of half full? Uh, Do you feel as though nothing in your life is actually achievable? Yeah, I know. I know, yeah. Do you wish you could get rid of those annoying inner voices telling you that you can't do it, or you're not good enough, or you'll never succeed? Do you you wish you could get rid of those, yeah? Imagine how life would be if you did. Or maybe, do you wish you could take control of your body and your health, but without having to spend a fortune, and without having to spend every waking hour down at the gym, and without, without ending up craving all those forbidden foods? that you used to love and you're no longer allowed. Yeah. I am willing to bet that if you're uh, like me, your answer to at least one of those questions is going to be a yes. Right? <clears throat> a lot of people will be answering yes to those questions. And that is precisely why I've got together with a couple of friends of mine, Dan Ross and Gordon Frew, and we are launching a thing called Mind Body Results, where basically we're doing an event, uh, a six-hour event in, uh, in uh, southern Scotland, Hamilton, near Glasgow in Scotland, on the 11th of November, where we're going to be covering how to make make all these changes, uh, to, to answer all of those questions and try, try to change things around. And I thought it would be interesting for us uh, in this episode just to take a, take a little look at some of the things that we're going to be covering in that event so that you might decide you want to come and join us for, for the day, which would be fantastic. And even if you're not able to join us, at least hopefully you'll get a little bit, uh, a little bit of a deeper understanding and insight into, into what it's all about. So that's what we're going to be looking at uh, this in, the, in this episode. If you want to just jump straight in and see what the event's all about, get, get all the details, uh, feel free to do that. Go to Mind Body Results. Dot eventbrite.co.uk That's mind body results, all one word, dot eventbrite.co.uk. You'll find out all about the event, what's going on. Uh, you, you can grab tickets if there are any left there. Uh, it's only a small event, it's only a, a small number, a small number of tickets. Uh, it's going to be quite an intimate gig. Uh, we're going to get a lot of interaction with, with everyone who's there. So that's what I thought we would take a look at in this, uh, this event in this event, in in this episode. And I was uh, able, earlier this week, to to grab a few minutes with one of my co-presenters for the day, uh, the the amazing Mr. Dan Ross. And uh, I started off by asking him, as always, the big question. Um, For people who haven't come across you before, Who's Dan? What what was he about? We'll talk about the the event in a moment, but first let's get a a sense of who Dan is. Who is he? What's what's he all about? Well, I'm I'm a kind of performance uh, life coach. Uh, I've been doing this for a number of years now. I've got a whole, I've got got about 20 years experience of helping people in different kind of crisis situations uh, and previous military as well. So I've got a lot of experience here that I can call upon um, to take forward and obviously help people. Uh, with various things that, that they believe to be challenging in their lives. Um, the reason I'm into this, I mean, I've had, I've had things happen to me that, to be honest, it's uh, would blow you away. However, uh, I've, I've, I just felt a pressing need, really, to, to get myself out there and help people. And over the past, maybe, say, three, four years, it's just went went really, really well. You know, the amount of people that I've been able to help uh, through seminars, workshops, even just individuals, you know, it's been, been quite incredible. Um, I also can kind of talk to various sports people as well. Um, I've been involved in a few football clubs, Partick Thistle St Martin, Hamilton Ackies, 
um, as I say, because I'm, I'm a football coach as well as, as as well as a life coach. So, the long and short is I just kind of gather all that experience uh, in order to you know, give it back, because that's what I think the essence of life is: is to gain experience, gain knowledge, and then pass it to others. Uh, the, the events that I've run over the past maybe say a few years have steadily get bigger and bigger. Um, we're focusing on this one, and then we've got other things planned for 2019. And thankfully, uh, Gordon is also a friend of mine, and yourself we can take that forward. So, exciting times ahead. My book's out next year as well, and the toolkit to the mind. So, everything's beginning to kind of come into place, which I'll obviously explain what my part is as a cause and effect and how that can work for you. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, just, for, um, just for people who may, may be detecting a slight subtle hint of an accent there, you're, you're, not, from, uh, you're not from down south. Where, where, whereabouts are you from? No, I'm actually a kind of Lancashire, Glasgow-based uh, coach. Uh, you'll probably tell, you know, uh, I try to keep my accent as soft as possible because anyone listening to this south of the border, if I had to speak my own dialect or tongue, it would probably need subtitles, you know, <laughs> a bit like the film Trainspotting. Um, so I'm a kind of Glasgow, Lancashire-based guy. Um, I've lived down south, obviously, through the military as well, so... That's why I, I, I tend to kind of try and slow my accent down so that people can understand me, especially if you're American, because you can get completely lost. That is true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Um, and as, as, as Dan mentioned, his book's coming out next year, and he's got a lot of, a uh, heck of a lot of stories he could, he could tell. I'm trying to, trying to get Dan to agree to come on the show next year once his book out, and we can, we can talk a bit more about those, those side of things. That's something to, to, to look forward to. For now, though, we're talking about the event that um, the three of us are putting on in uh, just outside Hamilton, just just outside Glasgow mm-hmm. in in Scotland in November. Uh, Mind body results, and what what is it that you're going to be covering, Dan? Because you're you're covering a very very specific, very important topic. What what is it that you're covering? Well, to, uh, to be honest, Keith, it's uh, something that I, I'm very passionate about. Um, what what I've also realised is well, we come from Scotland. Um, we're not Americans, uh, we're not high-fiving everyone every two seconds, we're, we're Scottish and we're very realistic and when you, when you look at Scottish people, they think that the world could be falling about and about them uh, and they'll just tell you they feel okay, they feel, I'm alright, so they're all saying, how do you feel, I feel alright, well that, in my book that's not good enough, so the long and short is I could talk about the law of attraction all day because I'm really into that, but when you start talking about law of attraction, you begin to lose people, uh, especially in the, in the west of Scotland as well. They'll look at you as though you've got two heads. So what I decided to do uh, through my psychology background is, is focusing on something similar, which is laws of cause and effect. So in essence, uh, that's what I'll be talking about. Right. All right. All right. Um, now, obviously, um, the, the, the event, it's, it's a, a full day thing, so we, we can't go into too much detail in just this this uh, this short episode, but can you give people kind of a, uh, just a, like a really high level overview of what what they're going to get? I mean, I guess what I'm asking in short is if I'm if I'm listening to the show, I'm probably thinking, okay, that sounds well and good, but why why should I why why should I care? Why should I go? What am I going to get out of it? Yeah, well, I can easily explain that, Keith. Um, long and short, as cause and effect. It's uh, something, like I said to you just shortly, a short time ago, I'm very passionate about. In my life, I've always been someone who has to achieve things, has to set goals. But in my listen, the previous uh, life there, before I kind of had the awakening myself, is my glass was always half empty. Um, I, I noticed that I was good at some things. I noticed that I wasn't good at other things. Um, but again, I, I couldn't really explain that because I was I'm very good at sports. I was very focused at my work. I was very focused at other things, but there were just certain aspects of my life that I just wasn't, and I couldn't explain that. Um, so things happened to me over the past number of years, and it was I can describe it was like an awakening. It was like something that happened whereby I, I began to see the reasons behind why I wasn't achieving, why I wasn't well, what I was setting out to do in some aspects of my life, and I kind of worked it out. I started to look at things like the law of attraction and how you actually um, can manifest things in your life. Now, typical West of Scotland looked at it initially and thought, that's a lot of hocus-pocus. 
But once I actually really began to look at it and research it, I, I found there was something in it. And like anyone uh, coming from Scotland, uh, you want to know the answers. You want to know what's behind all this. The only way you can do it is by practicing it. So this is why I started looking at uh, attraction, cause and effect, laws of the universe, things like that. And when I began to realize what I was doing myself, it was a light bulb moment, just a light bulb come on. What I was looking at was things that I just, I, I, was, I didn't want to get out of my comfort zone. I wanted to stay in the comfort zone. That was the things that I found my results weren't, weren't to what I was expecting. And like Einstein said, he thought people who were uh, insane were people who wanted different results by doing the same things. So I looked at that and I'm saying, this, this, this is a no-brainer for me. So I, I, I developed a kind of a strategy whereby what you focus on, you absolutely get more of. It's like the, it's like the car analogy. If you buy a car and, you, you, and, and the minute you buy it, you seem to see loads and loads of them. Um, I did that myself. I've, I've got an RCZ, just a wee kind of hairdresser's car. But I tell you, um, once, I, once I saw it, uh, one RCZ, I'd never even heard of it. There was about five or six in lap call alone. And I don't think a transporter just dumped six RCZs off in lap call. The long and short of that was I began to notice it more. So in that regard, cause and effect, what you think, what you, I don't know, you take action on, what you focus on, you begin to see more of. And on top of that, everything everything that you do, say, think, feel, i.e. the cause, has a, an effect on you. So if you're, if you're looking at, if you're doing things that are positive, for example, positive thoughts, positive thinking, positive actions, then that can only lead to positive results. It's like a boomerang effect. And that, in essence, is what the law of attraction is. Only I'm for Scotland, you're, for, you're obviously for Scotland as well, and the long and short is, that's how we, we, we in Scotland tend to, to look at um, things that you can actually see in front of you, and I try to give that back. Um, so the, the, the long and short, to cut it short really, what I'll be given is a kind of five-stage process where it's all based on basically the state of mind. Whatever state of mind you're in, in any aspect of your life, that is the starting point, which then leads on to your feelings, leads on to your focus, leads on to your actions, and subsequently leads on to your results. So I'm going to give that to the people coming. But again, it's, uh, I'll not give it all away just now because it's going to be fun. Uh, like all the events I've had, I've been a, a really good laugh, you know, and people have left there making big changes. And obviously with you guys involved, especially yourself, Keith, obviously the expertise you have in neurolinguistic programming, and then top of that, you've got Gordon with his health and fitness, uh, it's a really good package. It's something that I'm passionate about, and obviously we're looking to go into the bigger stage next year as well uh, through in Edinburgh. So I think it's going to be wonderful. People will definitely make changes. They'll go away from there feeling a different person, and it's all based on experience of the, the, the speakers, I, myself, you, and Gordon. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, cool, cool. Hi, it's uh, <clears throat> you're right. It is a, a pretty um, a pretty good package that we've got together there with. Coming from three, uh, I was going to say three different perspectives. That's not not necessarily true. We're all coming from the same perspective. We're looking at three different aspects of, of our lives so that we can make 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 some make some changes. And, and as you say, we're going to be making changes right there in the room itself, making changes based on real world stuff. And I know yours is based on what you've gone through. Mine certainly based on what I've gone through. And like likewise with Gordon. So this isn't. Uh, just academic theory that people have read in a book. This is real, real life stuff. Yeah, I think uh, to be honest, Keith, I, I've, we've all read the book called The Secret. Um, the Rhonda Bum. Yeah. To be fair, that's the first book that I that I read in relation to attraction. And it was a life coach that I went to see myself, a guy um, from Lanarkshire as well, very good, very good guy, and he, and he introduced me to this type of thing. And it was, there was nothing holding me back after that. And the more I, I researched it, the more I looked at it, the, the more I thought, and I actually trialed it myself, the more I thought, you know what, there's, 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 real, there's real science in this. Um, and, 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 and my big believer now is setting your goal out there. You don't need to know how you're going to get there. It's like climbing, depending on the size of the goal, it's like either climbing Mount Everest or Ben Lomond, it doesn't matter, it's still a goal. 
but you don't need to know how you're going to achieve it. For example, resources, finance, education.